Growing up, one of my favorite things to do in the summer was going to amusement parks and the fair. I'd always make sure that I have a churro every time I visit. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to bring your favorite fair treat home by showing you how to make the churros. A churro is a deep fried pastry that's crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside, and it's also rolled in delicious cinnamon and sugar. Let's get started. You're gonna need one quart of vegetable oil for frying, one cup of water, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of flour, and then for the topping, half a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. First, for the topping, combine the cinnamon and sugar together in a small bowl and set aside. Then in a small pot, combine your water, sugar, salt, and oil together and bring it to a soft boil. Once it comes to a boil, remove it from heat and then stir in your flour. You only want to stir it for about 30 seconds until the dough forms into a ball. What you're doing here is cooking the dough to give it that chewy texture. Be careful not to overmix it or else you're going to get a tough dough. Now let the dough cool for about 10 minutes and then put it into a piping bag. To prepare your piping bag, make sure you use the largest star tip that you can find. Today I'm using the Ateco 828 tip. It has a star tip that'll give you the classic churro shape. Now in another pot, fill it with your one quart of vegetable oil for frying and heat it up until it's about 375 degrees. If you have an oven thermometer, you can test the oil temperature this way. If not, I have a really cool trick that'll teach you how to test when your oil is ready. Take a chopstick and stick it to the bottom of the pot and if it bubbles, it's hot enough to fry. Now take your piping bag and carefully pipe in small strips into the hot oil and fry it until it's golden brown on each side. It should take about two minutes on each side. When it's done, take it out of the oil and quickly drain it onto a paper towel. While it's still hot, roll it into the cinnamon sugar mixture. And there you have it, delicious baby churros. Let's give it a try. I love dipping churros in caramel sauce or even chocolate sauce. Okay, so I want to know, what's your favorite fair or amusement park food? Comment below and share this recipe with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!